In this video, we will discuss the marking to market process, which is used by organizations such as the Chicago Mercantile Exchange to require people to have a certain amount of money in an account to be able to control futures contracts, whether they take long or short positions. A futures contract could be used for hedging. We're going to look at oil futures, which an airline might take a long position in because they plan to buy oil, and it lowers their risk because they can lock in the price of oil for some set time in the future. Similarly, an oil company might take a short position in an oil futures contract so that they have a guaranteed sale price for some set time. In our example, we're going to look at a different position in an oil futures contract, a speculator who is attempting to make money by guessing which direction the oil price is going to go. For our example, our speculator will have initially $150,000 and they're going to take a long position in oil futures, therefore they believe the price of oil is going to go up. If they take a position in 15 contracts, each contract controls 1,000 barrels of oil, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange creates both an initial margin and a maintenance margin which controls the dollar amount that the speculator will have to have in their margin account. If the initial margin is 9000 and the speculator signs a contract for 15 uh, positions, 15 different long futures contracts, then the amount of money they will have to have in the account is 15 times 9000 or 135000 They currently have 150000 so they are okay taking that position. A maintenance margin is the dollar amount below which the margin account cannot drop or the speculator will either have to deposit more money or they will get a margin call. The Chicago Mercantile Exchange does this because they don't want to have to lose money to guarantee the contract, so they make sure the speculator has enough money in their contract so that uh, the speculator will lose the money and not the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. So our example of controlling 15 contracts, 15 times 6,500, is 97,500. So if the value of the margin account drops below 97,500, our speculator will receive a margin call. Notice these accounts involve a tremendous amount of leverage for $150,000, or actually for $135,000, our speculator is controlling 15 contracts, each which cover 1,000 barrels of oil, when the price of a barrel of oil is around $61. So they are controlling 15 times 1,000 times 61 are close to a million dollars of oil for $150,000. A lot of leverage. So our example, our speculator is taking a long position here when oil prices are around $61 and a long position wants oil to go up, we can see initially our speculator is happy. Oil prices go up, the dollar amount added to their margin account increases every day. So first day they make 21,000, next day 9,000, next day 19,500, next day 12,000, next day 22,500. So very quickly our speculator has gone from having 150,000 to 234000 for a profit of $84,000, making our speculator rather happy. But after day six, oil prices start to drop, and they drop rather quickly. So the next day, the speculator loses $40,000, then $10,000, etc., etc., all the way down here to day 24, when oil prices have dropped to around $58, are $57.30, and the value of the margin account has dropped all the way from $234,000 to only $90,000. That is below the required $97,500, so our speculator receives a margin call. Either the Chicago Mercantile Exchange will close their account, or they have to deposit more money. Our speculator chooses to deposit another $30,000, bringing the account back up above the required margin. Oil prices rally a little bit, then drop down a little bit, and the end of our time period 
our speculator has 133,500. Out of the 150 plus 30 or 180,000 they have put in the account, so they've lost a significant amount of money. This should give an example of how futures contracts can be very volatile. Thank you for watching this video.